Hey everyone, welcome to the Global NLP Lab, a place where we discuss the latest in natural language processing research. Subscribe to stay up to date with our latest content. This video has been created with the partial help of GPT-3. Today, we are discussing a new embedding model published by OpenAI. We are going to discuss what embeddings are, how the new model improves upon the existing models, and provide some examples of how this new model is being used. We are also going to discuss whether using the OpenAI API for computing text embeddings is worth it, or whether a self-hosted solution makes more sense. So let's get started. First off, what are embeddings? Embeddings are numerical representations of concepts converted into sequences of numbers that allow computers to understand the relationships between those concepts. In NLP, embeddings are used for a variety of applications, such as semantic search, cluster analysis, and other tasks. OpenAI new embedding model, Text Embedding ADA 002, is a step forward for the field. It combines five separate models for text search, text similarity, and code search into a single model and outperforms the previous model, Datency, at most tasks, despite being smaller. On top of that, text embedding ADA 002 can read up to 8,191 tokens, or roughly 10 pages of text, compared to 2,046 tokens previously. The new model is also more cost-effective, at $0.0004 per 1,000 tokens, compared to the previous model's $0.004 per 1,000 tokens. That translates to roughly 3,000 pages per US dollar. OpenAI has also improved their API, making it much easier to query it. It takes two lines of Python code using OpenAI library to get things going. So that's the new model in a nutshell. Now let's take a look at some examples of how the embeddings API is being used in the real world. Calendar AI is a sales outreach product that uses embeddings to match the right sales pitches to the right customers out of a dataset containing 340 million profiles. This automation relies on similarity between embeddings of customer profiles and sale pitches to rank up the most suitable matches, eliminating 40 to 56% of unwanted targeting compared to their old approach. Notion, the online workspace company, is using OpenAI new embeddings to improve Notion search beyond today's keyword matching systems. Now, there are some limitations to this new model. It's not outperforming the previous text similarity data C001 model on the sent eval linear probing classification benchmark. And for tasks that require training a lightweight linear layer on top of embedding vectors for classification prediction, OpenAI suggests comparing the new model to text similarity data C001 and choosing whichever model gives optimal performance. At this point, you may be wondering, why should I use the OpenAI embedding model? In a nutshell, it depends on your use case and situation. However, there are several reasons for or against it. First, the positive points. Getting started with the OpenAI embeddings is very easy and simple. You can literally start building in a few minutes. You have access to a very powerful embedding model with a large context that has been deployed and optimized for fast access by OpenAI. Furthermore, the cost of the model has been going down over time. If the new model fits your budget and application scale, it could be a very good option because you pay a fixed price and don't have to worry about infrastructure or maintenance. You can compute embeddings for your library of documents once and conveniently store and reuse them. However, there are many situations where OpenAI might not make sense. The first is if your application processes a very large number of documents, in which case the cost might justify investing in your own infrastructure, as well as in dedicated models for your application. The second reason is if the objects in your library 
are frequently changing, requiring frequent re-indexing. If that's the case, you would have to call the API every time an object changes. The final reason is if you are working in a specialized domain that might benefit from an embedding model that has been fine-tuned in that specific domain. So there you have it, a quick overview of the new embedding model by OpenAI. That's all for now, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.